everybody welcome to my youtube channel i am the chartist and of course we're going to do some technical analysis we're going to start off with the spy before i get into it i just want to mention that if you haven't already uh subscribed to the youtube channel and you like technical analysis this is what we do please uh subscribe to the youtube channel also join our private facebook community that i uh, post the link in the description below and uh that's about it also i have a discord where I post my uh, my plan, my trading plan every morning. Uh, this one was at 8.28 a.m., 4.36 and 4.40. Remains key level for SPY. Price action is still bare, so I'll be looking to short at those levels, okay? So if you were one of the people that shorted, um, you know, or bought, bought a put, you should have had a very, very green, green day today, okay? But let's get into this technical analysis. So we have this big, big red candle. It, it it failed to break above the 436. I've been saying 436 is a critical support level for quite some time. And as long as we're trading under 436, I think we will come down and test the 425 level. All right. That was my uh, I that was my idea. Yesterday we had an inside day candle. Okay, this is the mother candle. This is the child candle. And I said to you guys, wait for the break of either the high or the low of the mother day candle. Okay, now you did. If you did that, you kind of did miss this big move from 436 all the way down to 432. But even still, if you bought a put on the break of the low of the mother candle, which is at around 433, and you bought a put there, and you rolled it down all the way down to 428, 429, you still made a good amount of profits. Okay, you don't want to get too greedy. Okay, now keep in mind that this 429 level, all right, for this one is. Right here, 429, 429. They both drop around to the same level, a little below 429. So we got to be careful here. If you're a bear, be careful here. Because I'm not saying to catch a fallen knife, okay? But this could be a potential double bottom, okay? Right here, one and two, okay? So 429 is a critical support level right now. If spies stay above 429... There's a chance that I could get a relief rally and go back to test our other resistance level, 433 to the 436 level, okay? Doesn't mean I'm bullish again. It just means watch out for this double bottom, okay? So don't just go short and catching FOMO and just short and wherever. We short at resistant levels, okay? Remember, guys, we short at resistant levels. We go long at support levels it's easier said than done in theory and in hindsight it sounds good but it takes a lot of skills i've been trading for four years and i'm still working on getting better at it okay and i'm getting a lot better at it and it doesn't you don't get better if you quit okay but anyways i digress so double bottom pattern be careful with that if they break 429 then let's see if my theory is true that we will break come down all the way down to the 425 level Okay, I'm thinking 423 to 426 range. All right, remember what I said, 423 to 426 range. That's what I'm thinking around here, okay? And that, I believe, will be a good buying opportunity. Okay, and of course, if it continues to break below 425, which is very scary, we have this 200-day moving average over here around 412, okay? Which will be an even bigger drop. All right, so remember what I said. 429 is a critical, it's a support level right now. Below 429, I think we would drop to 425. And if we're below 425, I think we would drop to 412. Okay, now how can we get bearish, uh, bullish again or see some signs of bullishness? Well, if we can, excuse my language, but if SPY can start closing above 436 again, the bulls can come back. It can start looking bullish again and we can come back and test this breakdown level around 443 we would have to get trade above 443 444 or above for spy to be bullish again not only would that push it above all moving averages but it'll put it back to this support level right here okay but it doesn't look like spy will be heading back up looks like there's more room for downside that's what it looks like to me but like i said watch out for the double bottom 429 support 426 Below 420, excuse me, 425. Below 425, 412. All right, now take a look at the VIX. It's trading above all moving averages. Okay, it's looking bullish. Look, let's look at this one hour chart. See a small, intricate plan. Okay, so we got this. It was bull flagging right here. 
had this breakout you want to get that test of the breakout it failed and it is broke above okay so seeing uh vix above 22.8 is very bullish it'll confirm the breakout and it could head for more upside and test the next resistance around 27 dollars okay but vix below 22.8 could be some bearish signs okay and it could be a good um it could be some bear sign for VIX, which is bullish for the SPY, and we'll see what happens from there. Okay, we'll take it from there. But as of right now, definitely watch if this 22.8 level. But if you go back to the daily, it's chilling right at resistant. You got the five day right down here at 21, and of course the 20 and the two and the 200 is about to cross the two, uh, overlap. 20 is about to go to the upside. So that's a bullish crossover right there, and it's currently at 20. And of course, the 50 day is over at 18.5. So we need VIX to get back below 18.5, which would be very bullish for the spine. But as of right now, it's looking like it wants to head up higher to this resistant level. So around $27. Let's see what happens from there. That might be a good area to look for buying opportunities for spy. Um if VIX get to $27, but even at that point, that's still risky because you don't want to call a top in the bull market. And if this is a bear market or becoming more of a bear market, you don't want to call a bottom as well. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Take it one level at a time. Definitely watch those critical support levels that I mentioned. One more time, 429, 425, and then 412. As of right now, I am bearish as long as we're trading under 436. Moving on to Triple Q, very uh, bearish on the Triple Q as well. If you take a look at this, all my labels, it looks very similar to Wickoff's distribution, okay? That's the accumulation. Here's a distribution right here, okay? And I think uh, Triple Q is in the UTAD phase, and we're going through the test. We're starting to re decline now, back to possibly the UT and BC le or range level. Okay, so if you look at it, you can see it looks very similar and it's starting to break down right now, okay? Now, it's not guaranteed as following wick off. It just gives us a general idea of price direction, okay? So this is not the time to get bullish, guys, all right? Especially if price action looking bearish. So we got support here at 352 at this strong support level. And of course, we have support or a buy zone at the 338 to the 343 okay so 353 doesn't hold 352 353 definitely be patient if you want to look for buying opportunities look for the 353 to 338 range strong buy zone for me but other than that i'm still bullish you guys should i'm not a financial advisor but you guys should uh well what i'm going to do is look to to short at resistant levels okay so we got resistant levels here at 364 five day and then you have 369 the 13 day moving average and that 50 day is over at 370.6 and of course the 20 is at 372.8 and if uh triple cube get back above that it'll start looking bullish again but that's very far off okay could possibly get a relief rally maybe we are triple q starting to get a little overextended to the downside you can see with the lower bollinger band maybe maybe we'll get a relief rally back to 364 but even then around 364 and the resistance level up there i would look to short because it's still a bullish market okay so i'm looking for selling opportunities still moving on to tesla now tesla we got this nice double inside day candle setup okay now remember i've been talking about double inside day candle and the inside candle this this past week okay if you don't know what it is, please look it up. It's a good trade setup. This is one of the, my favorite trading st uh, strategies, okay? So wait for the, the, in this case, this is the grandmother candle, okay? So wait for the high or the low. So the high right now is at 795.8, and the low is at 766.18, okay? Wait for the break of either the high or the low, and I would bet to that side. So if it breaks the low, bet to the downside. If it breaks the high... Bet to the upside, okay? And see how that works for you because the double inside candle, that's how you trade it. Definitely look it up. And it's worked pretty well for SPY. Okay, we had double inside candle set up right here. Worked well for SPY. We had an inside candle yesterday. 
And once again, work well for Spy, okay? So, um, I'm neutral on Spy. I'm definitely going to try to trade it based on how the trade the trading setup for the double inside candle is. And uh, good luck to me, all right? So, neutral, but overall, it's, def it's still looking bullish. It's trading above all the moving averages, except for the 5. Today's the first day where it actually closed below the 5-day moving average. So, a little bit of bearish signs there, but it's nothing too alarming. Uh, still very bullish chart and uh, yeah double inside candle setup traded as such guys moving on to Bitcoin I got Bitcoin falling wick off of, as well as you can see with the labels but that's based on the accumulation all right if you don't know what the accumulation is that's the accumulation so I got wick off around this area and we're testing the last point of supply but right now it's starting to show us but based on this green candle, there's some buying pressure there, okay? So what, remember I told you, we got this cup and handle pattern. Right here, cup, the cup is right here. And now we're inside this handle. Okay, so for it to be bullish, we want to see the breakout. 45k, 444 breakout. So, uh, for, uh, if we see Bitcoin above 45k, that's very bullish. And it could break out for this cup and handle. We'll want to see if it holds. All right, and if that happens, we'll be back in the buy the dip market, which will be great for for the bulls, for everyone that believes in Bitcoin. All right, guys. So right now, the way I'm looking at it, I am bullish on Bitcoin, but I'm either gonna wait for my support level around 38k, or I'm gonna wait for the breakout. All right, and see if it holds. If I see it, we get multiple holes out of this handle formation, I'll probably start looking for buying opportunities. Alright guys, so that's my technical analysis for today. I hope this was able to help. I thank you guys so much for watching. It means the whole world to me. And I'll see you guys soon.